everyone says, be the change you want to see in the world. But how do you do that? We actually have a group here today of women who have changed the world. Can you talk a little bit about the genesis of the Black Lives Matter movement? In essence, it's been a project to rehumanize us. It's been a project to assert our human dignity, which is inherent. No one can take that away from us. And it's ultimately a human rights movement. We had to create a hashtag to name it and to connect our communities. People were mobilizing and organizing themselves online to take action offline. No matter what your profession is, all of us can do our part. Annie and I went to the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. I was sexually assaulted my sophomore year. First and foremost, I was a student and what I was studying was political science and specifically media framing. And I was looking at how the media weren't covering this issue. It was something that women were told to stop talking about. It's only because of those that are coming forward that we're actually hearing about it. That's why we need allies. It shouldn't be on the backs of the people who experience violence and oppression to hold sometimes their institutions, their universities and cultures accountable. We need allies. This is how every movement starts. They tell us it is not changeable, but it is. Elizabeth, what exactly is an entrepreneur in residence? And what does it have to do with making social change? I get to work with entrepreneurs all over the world. My favorite entrepreneurs are women, particularly women in developing countries, because they're starting something from nothing. You can really actually engage in social change. You don't have to be a billionaire. You don't have to be a prime minister. You can actually change someone's life just by standing up, using your voice, using your fundraising, and being an advocate. Everyone can do that, no matter what your career is. If you put purpose into what you're doing, you will change the world. I promise you.